Hello fellow coffee botherers, in this video I'm going to end the confusion and tell you which is a perfect integrated grinder espresso machine for you, from the ever increasing range of options for Sage or Breville if you're outside of Europe. Brister Express, Brister Pro, Brister Touch, Brister Express Impress, Brister Touch Impress, the Oracle and the Oracle Touch. That's seven options, eight if you can't count. Too much choice can cause confusion, so I'm going to end that confusion right now with just a few simple multiple choice questions. Starting with normal mainstream supermarket beans or freshly roasted beans. If you said supermarket, the next few questions are for you. If you said freshly roasted, just hold on and I'll have questions for you shortly. So if you're using normal mainstream coffee beans, not freshly roasted, I can tell you which is the perfect option for you with the answer to this question. Are you looking for a straightforward portafilter espresso machine or are you looking for more of a one touch fully automatic type experience, touch screen, auto frothing, etc. If your reaction to that is don't be daft Kev, I'm not paying hundreds extra for stuff like that, then it's the Barista Express. If you're going to be using normal beans, not freshly roasted beans, the Barista Express is made for you. It's their only integrated grinder machine that hasn't been developed around freshly roasted beans. You can use freshly roasted beans, it comes with both types of baskets, but it's really designed for supermarket beans, as far as I can tell. The OPV is set at 13 to 14 bars, which is a usual choice for working with pressurised dual wall baskets, which are the baskets that are intended for these kind of beans. It's their only integrated grinder machine that uses the original full nice burr set and not the newer European Etzinger burrs that might make some difference with freshly roasted beans, but not with supermarket beans. And it's their cheapest integrated grinder machine in the range. I think it's a bargain for the price you can often get it for, especially if you know someone who might have a discount code. <laughs> read the description. If that wasn't your response, if you quite like the idea of using a touchscreen machine with auto milk steaming, then I'd say your perfect machine is a Barista Touch. The good news for you is that the Barista Touch is one of the most commonly discounted Sage or Breville machines. The reason I think this is a perfect machine for you and not the Touch Impress Oracle or Oracle Touch is because if you're using normal coffee beans, these options are very unlikely to give you much, if any, improvement in cup quality. So you're going way over the point of diminishing returns using normal coffee beans. These machines are great, they have really nice, really helpful features, but if you're not using freshly roasted beans, personally I don't think you're going to get much benefit from the much bigger investment. So if you're buying normal beans from the shop, not freshly roasted beans, Barista Express if you're looking for a straightforward portafilter machine experience, or Barista Touch for the fancier touchscreen experience. Simple. Done. If you think you might want to switch to using freshly roasted beans in the future though, I'd recommend just sticking around for the rest of this video. So now for the people who are planning on using freshly roasted beans. The first question is, home barista or bean to cup fully automatic? In other words, are you planning on getting into the home barista hobby or do you just want the machine to do it for you? If you answered without hesitation, home barista, I have another question for you. Are you going to be the only one using the machine, or is there somebody else who also needs to use the machine who isn't planning on getting into home barista faffery? If you're the only one that's going to be using the machine, I think you'll find the Barista Pro is perfect for you. It has a 9 bar OPV, Etzinger burrs, finer adjustment with 30 grind settings, digital shot timer, it's easy to change the brew temperature via the screen from 91 to 95 degrees Celsius, it's easy to change the shot volumes from the screen and get into cleaning cycles and so on. And it's often available for a bargain, so if you're looking for the lowest priced integrated grinder home barista espresso machine, I'd go for the Barista Pro. Should you even go for an integrated grinder machine if you're getting into the home barista hobby? That's a contentious issue. The straight answer is probably not, but for the price, the Barista Pro is very difficult to compete with with any standalone setup. It's just very good for the money, for barista use, especially when you can find a great deal for it. If you want the home barista experience but somebody else in the home doesn't, then from your perspective, either the Barista Express Impress or Barista Touch would be fine, as you can use them both without the automation. With the Express Impress, you just press a button to switch to manual mode. With the Touch Impress, you do it in the touch screen. So if this is you, the question then would be what user experience would be better for the other person? If they just need some assistance on the espresso side of things, then the Barista Express Impress. If they want auto milk steaming too, but they're not too fussed about the touch screen experience, then maybe the Oracle if you have the budget, but it is at a completely different price point. If they really want a one-touch, bean-to-cup, fully automatic machine type experience, then the Barista Touch Impress would be my first choice. 
If you have the budget for it, then the Oracle Touch makes bigger 21 gram dose shots, although you can reduce that if you want. And it's dual boiler, so it's faster for milkies than a Touch Impress, but the Touch Impress has the newer, better barista guidance and the new milk system with the alternative milk settings. If you're into gaming, you might want the Touch Impress because of this. If your answer to this question was, I think probably home barista, but I'm not quite sure, or maybe home barista at the weekend, but I'll probably want assistance in the week when I'm in a rush for work, then your answer is the Barista Express Impress. It has a nine bar OPV, Etzinger Burrs, you can use it in auto or manual, what I refer to as geek mode, and see the video that'll pop up here at the end of this video on using the Express Impress in geek mode. So you can override the assistance and use it manually, but you can use the assistance when you're in a rush. The Oracle is another potential here. It's dual boiler, so you can steam milk and pull shots at the same time, and you can put it on auto steam if you're in a rush. You don't quite have the same option to go manual on the espresso side of things though, as the tamp fan is operating while grinding. So to do your own puck prep, you'd need to use a thicker needle WD T tool to take it back to grounds. But the Oracle is over a thousand pounds more than the Express Impress, so it'll be out of range for a lot of people. If your answer to this question is, jog on Kev, what a ball ache, I want the machine to do everything, then your perfect machine would be the Barista Touch Impress. If you want Barista quality coffee and one touch fully automatic experience, the Touch Impress was made for you. If you have the budget to spend almost double the money on the Oracle Touch, I have to say at the moment, I'm not even sure you should. It is based on the dual boiler, so it's a mega machine where temperature precision and stability is concerned, but it has the same grinder as a Touch Impress. If you imagine the grinder has been similar to the engine of a car, in some ways this is like going for a car with an option pack with all the extras and a body kit so it looks faster, but with the exact same engine as a cheaper model. You'll get your coffee slightly faster with it being dual boiler, but there's not a massive amount of difference as you can queue up the espresso and the milk on the Brista Touch Impress, so you don't have to be stood in front of the machine waiting. The most common reason I've heard recently for people who've gone for the Oracle Touch over the Barista Touch Impress seems to be very trivial, which is that there's more room on the drip tray for cups. So if you want to split a shot into two cappuccino cups, you can do that on the Oracle Touch, whereas on the Barista Touch Impress, the drip tray is a bit cramped for that. So there you go. To recap, if you're using mainstream, big brand supermarket coffee beans, then the Barista Express is gonna be your number one choice, or the Barista Touch, if you want the touchscreen experience and auto milk steaming. If you're using freshly roasted coffee beans as a home barista, then the Barista Pro will be the perfect choice if it's just for you. If a non-home barista will also be using it, then go for the Barista Express Impress if they just need assistance with the espresso, or Touch Impress if you have the budget for it and if they want the touch screen and auto frothing. If you think you want to go down the home barista route, but you're not entirely sure, or you might want to just do the home barista thing at the weekend when you have more time, then my first choice would be the Barista Express Impress, or maybe the Oracle if you have the budget and you like the idea of making things even more convenient with auto steaming when you're in a rush. If you want to use freshly roasted beans and you want Barista Cup quality, but ultra convenient touchscreen experience and auto milk, then the Barista Touch Impress would be my first choice. If you have the budget and you think you'll benefit from the extra drip tray space for wider cups and the faster workflow from steaming and pulling shots simultaneously, then maybe the Oracle. There were active volcanoes on the moon when dinosaurs were alive, which is nothing to do with clicking the like button, but click the like button if you're also wondering how the heck they can possibly know that. They couldn't ask dinosaurs, they're all extincted. Welcome. Thank you very much for watching. If you think coffee is fit and you've enjoyed this video, we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista. We've got reviews and how to's on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that, click on my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.